Shintaro Kago is someone I've briefly mentioned before, but never actually made a video about. He has made quite the mark on absurd manga, incorporating elements of eroguru and body horror, dark comedy. Two readily available manga here in the West are Love Gun and Dementia 21. They both highlight his strengths and, well, I would say weaknesses too. I do love his single pieces of art shown off on his social media, but also shirts from Hot Topic, okay? The way he turns subjects into science projects is done tastefully. Like, it's kinda graphic, but not very offensive. Now, I do think Dementia 21 is the superior manga because, well, they're two vastly different experiences one being very extreme, while the other is complete nonsense but much more lighthearted. Super Dimensional Love Gun is a collection of very short stories, all with sexually charged themes, most focusing on assault, but with characters of varying body transformations. Don't read a Kago manga hoping for it to have some real merit or meaning, as that's kind of the point. He pushes boundaries and contorts bodies, but also has very bland characters so that the focus isn't on their stories, but rather the odd experiences. And well, most of which I can't even show on YouTube. Kago has said his work speaks for itself. Unlike others who have obvious messages or politics, Kago purposely foregoes any obvious meaning and goes with whatever he's feeling at the moment of his drawings. Like, he has no filter, whatever he's thinking he puts down on paper, and honestly doesn't care how people will receive it. That holds true for most of his work, but sometimes he will purposely be a little more commercial, yet the results are still very bizarre. Kawaii-esque guru. Nothing too offensive, but definitely an acquired taste. Case in point, Dementia 21. Its structured has a plot, despite how nonsensical it is, and there is some semblance of a theme going on. Some may prefer his single pieces of art, but I do love this Dementia 21 manga, each with 21 stories, focusing on the misadventures of Yukie and her job taking care of the elderly. Going against his mantra, the character here, Yukie, is not totally bland looking and overcomes every twisted situation she's put in. It's funny, creative, and I much prefer the style of Kago in this element as opposed to the overtly adult themed love gun. So yes, he may be censoring himself in terms of lack of nudity and the extreme themes, but he still doesn't hold back in the body horror and violence. The stories of all the elders being compared to zombies is particularly funny. His stuff is done in such a colorfully and cute way that it's hard not to just find it all fun. But yeah, this, you know a master of their craft by just looking at it. Now, I would highly recommend Dementia 21 while avoiding Love Gun, unless of course you're a collector, but really just check out some of his work on Instagram. Lots of great bizarre pieces here.